Hi, Jo Finian here. I have spent the last six months writing a book called The Heart of Sales. And just as I was coming towards the end of writing it, I just got, for me, the analogy between cooking and sales. And that is what I'm going to talk to you about for the next couple of minutes. Heart of Sales is all about um, sales skills for people that want to sell ethically, that want to trade ethically, for people that don't like traditional sales skills, who think they hate the whole sales thing. The thing is, if we don't sell, whether we're a charity or a business, we're not going to get very far. And, um, and I know that a lot of the sales issues is about confidence. And that's where, lying in bed uh, yesterday, I just got the whole thing about cooking. And that's the story I'm going to tell you. So, I, as an adult, thought I hate cooking. I thought I'm rubbish at cooking. I cannot cook. That means that um, I have two choices. I either cook and get on with it and not enjoy it and maybe ruin it, or I buy instant food, I buy takeouts, I eat out. The second is just not sustainable because it's unhealthy and it's ridiculously expensive. So if I'm going to have a healthy, sustainable life, I've actually got to sort out my head around cooking. So what I did was I thought back. I grew up, we were not, we didn't have much money. Um, so my mom cooked every day for six of us. She spent a lot of time in a very cold kitchen, not enjoying cooking for six of us. It was a chore. It was a chore that took up a lot of her day. It was a thankless task because most of us just ate or complained and then left. Uh, if we were really good, we washed up. Being the girl, I thought, that's not for me. I'm not doing that. There's much more interesting things to do. So now when I cook, I wander off and do more interesting things. I take my eye off the cooking and I burn it. And that means I have to start again or eat rowing tea or go and spend money on something else. The connection for me around this is I have told myself I can't cook. So I ruin my cooking. People tell themselves they can't sell so they sabotage the sales. The thing that they have in common is to be able to cook. I know, so it looks like some people go to the cupboard and 10 minutes later, there's a cordon bleu meal on the table. Obviously that isn't true. But that's what we can tell ourselves. They can do it, I can't. What I've learned about cooking is it's about preparation. If I get everything I need, if I get it all ready, if it's all in place, if I do my preparation, if I put the time into getting everything right, and then I stay with the cooking, I don't wander off, I don't think I've got something better to do, I don't disappear. If I stay with the cooking and see it through, guess what? I end up with a nice meal. Do you know what happens then? I end up with a nice meal, me and my daughter enjoy it. I feel more confident, I think. Oh, I'm gonna do that again. And then I get a bit braver. And every time I follow those steps, I produce a nice meal. And then I get more confident. 
and then I feel more like cooking again. And then every now and then I get distracted and I take my eye off the pan and I burn it. Cooking and sales involves preparation. I think I can't cook because I told myself I can't that I wasn't interested in it. But to not cook is not sustainable. Sales is the same thing. People tell themselves they can't do it. But to not sell is not sustainable. The rules are the same. Prepare well. Stay with it. Keep your eye on the pan. And the more it turns out good, the more confident you will feel. And the more you will experiment and get out there and just get on with it. But every time we forget and take our eye off the pan, we will burn it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Leave me a message below, drop me an email. If you'd like a hand with uh, your sales or if you're interested in buying my book, um, here's the link. Love to hear your thoughts. Okay, happy selling. Bye.